Hello, and welcome to another episode of Mind of Steel. This is the weekly show in which I, Reynard Wilson, would like to talk to you for maybe about 10 minutes about one man. His name is Mark Steele, and he's been referred to as Britain's most ludicrous conspiracy theorist. He has some completely bonkers beliefs about all kinds of things. If you want to know, just, just watch back. I, I've made lots of shows about Mark Steele. But even though he's Britain's most ludicrous conspiracy theorist, how does he compare against America's most ludicrous conspiracy theorist? Well, that's going to be the subject of today's show, because in November of 2019, Mark Steele was invited onto the Alex Jones Infowars.com show. The two went head to head in a clash of conspiracism that's never to be forgotten. They're all thinking it's low power because what's coming off the surface is low power, but it's being focused like a particle beam is what you're saying? You can focus it very much. The best way to explain it's like layman's terms. However, this beam actually skitters. It's theoretical because nobody can see them. So it's a theoretical beam and it skitters a bit like lightning. If you could see a lightning strike. Lesson one for any budding conspiracy theorist, never get dragged into explanations. Specifics are the enemy of a good conspiracy theory. And Alex Jones and Mark Steele really do seem to be struggling to, to explain what exactly 5G radio waves are. It's just like through water or just like through rock it is the same thing, uh, that, that it's a solid field instead of a long wave, so it pushes through the rock or through the water or through the structure. So it, it, they're saying it's weak, but you're saying it has an even greater penetration power. Absolutely, so giga is something sort of through 30 foot of reinforced concrete, and that's why... I don't know whether Mark Steele or Alex Jones won the 2019 Nobel Prize for Physics, but I'm sure it was one of them. But uh, I think Mark is a little bit troubled here, because I think he realises that Alex is the bigger, badder, better conspiracy theorist. And when you're number two, you just have to try harder. Let's... Gated was the test center, the epicenter, and it's not called Gated, it's the original name Gated. I'd suggest people have a look at it. It actually has the Angel of the North. The Angel of the North is Moloch. It's... Mark is falling back to years of conspiracy grifting experience. When he's in trouble, pick an obscure fact that people are unlikely to check on, and then associate it with an entirely spurious claim. In this case, the idea that the Angel of the North, which is a statue not far from Gateshead in the north of England, where Mark Steele lives, well, he's claiming that it's a statue of Moloch, uh, a, a deity described in the Bible and kind of associated with child sacrifice, because, of course, that's what anybody who isn't a Christian does all the time. We know that for a fact. It's not being tested in Gated for any other reason. It has some links to some devilish plot, some devilish uh, scheme. I mean, I know we talk about God and the devil, but believers, I'm pretty sure the reason why I'm here is to fight against this, because unfortunately for Gated Council, that emblem is the goat head. Mark, the logo of Gates Head Council is not a goat's head. And you should know because you've been sued by them plenty of times. It's this thing here. It, it's sort of, uh, is it a gate with a, a knight's helmet on top of it? I, I actually don't know what it's supposed to represent, but it's definitely not a goat. Uh, and look there, that's the, uh, the coat of arms of Gates Head. It's also not a goat. But the one goat connection that I could find is, is that actually the name Gates Head is a corruption of perhaps an old English name that refers to the hill where wild goats used to hang out. Sometimes a goat isn't symbolic of something, it's just a goat. Mark is really not managing to, to get much value from his 15 minutes of fame. So let's see how one of the professionals that Alex Jones keeps on tap, let's see how he handles the 5G grift. So these systems, when they point at you, and remember they're directional phased array antennas, they can single you out for behavioral changes. They can literally change your personality in a sense 
by beaming you with these weapons. And they Conspiracy grifting is like jazz improvisation. Can you see the way that Mike Adams from naturalnews.com took Mark's theme, developed it, built upon it, and turned it into something wonderful? <laughs> Mark, would you have thought of that? 5G as a mind control device? <laughs> Mike, I, I wonder if you can top that. That was brilliant. Primo uno conspiracy grifting. This is it, proven. This EMF exposure is proven to lower testicular size. Literally, to put it bluntly, 5G networks shrink your balls. I've got to hand it to you, Mike Adams from Natural News. You know how to push people's fear buttons. And as a man, there is nothing I fear more than having my balls shrunk. <laughs> Don't worry, they're fine. I mean, how do we stop this? And, and, and who's behind it? And what's the end game? The, the, the end game is full biological uh, destruction. Every biological cell on the planet will be destroyed by 5G. You know, I know that sounds unbelievable. But I know Every biological cell on the planet. I, I think, Mark, you've jumped the shark even by conspiracy grifter standards. That's a pretty bold claim. Mike Adams was just worried about his balls. And you're, you're talking about the, the total annihilation of all life on the planet. That would make 5G a more existential threat than nuclear Armageddon. Mark, you, you need to learn. If you're going to be an experienced, effective conspiracy grifter, pitch your claims right. Make them about what people truly fear. Yeah, we've got to get you back on, because I know you're a great engineer. I'd like to send you an external mic. Or There's a lot of noise in your laboratory. I can hear a lot of whizzing and buzzing. But you're Mark, you had one chance, but you blew it. Literally anyone with the slightest bit of technical competence could have borrowed a laptop, a webcam, and maybe even a microphone. Almost anything would be better than whatever the hell kind of potato microphone that Mark is using to, to record this. And, and what a lost opportunity, because he could have had access to Alex Jones's audience of, of wackaloons, nut jobs, and, and, and gullible nitwits, who, who I'm sure if they could only hear what Mark was saying and maybe penetrate his thick Geordie accent, well, I'm sure they would have lapped it all up because that's precisely the sort of thing that Alex Jones fans want to hear. Uh, just a new kind of existential dread coming to get us every single day. <sighs> Alas, it was not to be. And uh, I don't think Mark was ever invited back on the Alex Jones show. So, uh, yeah, he, he's no longer famous in America, except of course, via the MC Toon channel where this is going out. And, and maybe, maybe we can be Mark's fans. Maybe we can, can pay more attention to him and, and give him the attention that he craves. Come on guys, let's all help him. And I'm gonna to leave today's show with one more inspirational message from Mark Steele. I think this sums up Mark's entire philosophy, why he is capable of seeing weapons where everybody else sees harmless everyday objects. I'm a weapon systems expert. If you give a joiner a two by four piece of timber, you think it's a you think it can make a chair or some other piece of furniture. If you give me a bit of two by four, I see a club. Well, it's been another wild ride. We've learned so much about the mind of steel. Take, for example, the fact that Mark thinks that 5G is going to destroy literally all life on Earth. Every single cell. And I'm going to even include those tardigrades who, who seem to be able to withstand cosmic radiation. Well, they're going to be obliterated too, so don't feel sorry for them. Feel sorry for yourself because somewhere in the year 2019, that was quite a few years ago, somebody's going to switch on the 5G networks and we're all going to die. So if you're watching this in 2023 or beyond, that's impossible because you're probably dead by now. And in the unlikely event that you aren't dead, 
I'd like to invite you in a week's time to join me once again for another episode of Mind of Steel.